1973, he did uh, uh, Filthy Words, which aired on uh, Pacifica's WBAI. Okay, um, there was a dude who was driving around with his son. He was part of the Morality and Media member, which is a, a, a right-leaning um, conservative a lobbyist group that protects protects the airwaves from you know indecent and profane content. This aired at two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, um, the member complained. It went to a district court um, where they ruled in favor of. Uh, so the case was FCC versus Pacifica. Um, it, it, it you know it eventually got to the Supreme Court. So the, uh, the appeals court ruled in favor of Pacifica saying that running Carlin's filthy words, you know, um, by censoring it, the FCC censoring it and fining WBAI um, that <clears throat> uh, they were impeding on the First and Fifth Amendment rights, I believe, of WBAI. That was then appealed by the FCC and then went to the Supreme Court and it was a very tight five to four decision in which they ruled in favor of Guess who? The FCC. Okay. Um, but anyway, so this is an indecency and free speech ruling. It's very important. Um, what they basically did, did is they ruled what the FCC was pushing was that his use of these words in this specific context was obscenity. Um, the one good bit that came out of this is that the Supreme Court ruled that, in fact, the communication was not obscene. It was uh, indecent, which is you know, is better, I guess. Um, and, uh, you know, so they ruled in favor of the FCC. They said the material was not obscene, but it was indecent. Okay. And it helped to um, define, basically, because it's a Supreme Court decision, how much control the FCC has over indecent material and what, and what they can do. Um, and it allowed the FCC to basically say that during certain hours, now this, this father... Um, heard this at two o'clock in the afternoon, um, that the FCC could regulate during what time of the day that indecent or profane material could possibly air. So it defined, it, you know, the ruling made it so that it could define the scope of the FCC's power. It didn't mean that the FCC could ban all indecent material, but they could during a certain time frame, okay? And from this ruling, this Pacifica ruling, is where you get safe harbor. So the, the concept of you know, having, uh, you know, an eight hour time period where you can air indecent and profane material comes from, from this ruling. Okay. But, you know, the thing is, is the FCC really has a broad interpretation of what uh, indecency is. And we'll talk about that when we talk about um, uh, good times with weapons. Okay. Um, and, you know, after this, you start to have a very formal, codified, written sort of description of what indecent material is. In the United States, at least. All right, this brings us to the episode Death. This is from 1997, the first season of South Park. Um, this was um, one of the episodes that really challenged censorship, that challenged um, the network, that challenged the FCC, you know, that just really challenged uh, people's morals, parents, etc. Um, and it was probably one of the more, um, I don't want to say political, but the more satirical episodes in the first, in the first season, which was mostly just ass and shit jokes. Um, uh, this, this had that too. <laughs> um, but basically, you know, the whole thing here was, you know, during this time, I mean, you can imagine it's 1997. Uh, South Park's area on Comedy Central to great fanfare. Well, parents, some parents are not pumped. They see the language, the, you know, they see the content, um, and, you know, they, they start to, like, go after South Park. Now, South Park, you know, basically throws it back at them saying like it's ridiculous to blame television for ch their children's behavior. So that's the main issue. And then they're talking about um, the Kevorkian decision and assisted suicide too, which was like a uh, pretty hot button um, topic that in the episode no one wants to touch with a, a 40 foot or 20 foot pole. Okay. 
But this is the first time that they speak out against censorship because they are obviously dealing with this at Comedy Central. And, and you know, obviously Comedy Central is telling them what they can and can't, what they can and can't air. air. Um, but what they try to say in, in the way that they, they do this in the episode is that they're, you know, hey, here's a, a TV show that's largely about shit, um, but is there, can there be value to it? And that's something that's intertwined and intermixed in the, in the episode. Um, but it's very self-reflexive. It's uh, in terms of it looks at, you know, um, you know, the critique that toilet humor, that, that scatological humor is baseless, that it serves no point, and it's a challenge to that condemnation. Um, and it's also really, really about parents um, really losing their minds about South Park and wanting to uh, regulate the content for their, for their children. But you find out uh, in one of the plays in this that, that is great is you find out that, you know, hey, everybody appreciates a good old fashioned shit joke, um, which you start to see the parents as the, the episode and the narrative um, moves on um, as they start to get diarrhea. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty funny. Um, and lastly, you know, uh, if you've seen the movie Bigger, Longer, and um, Uncut, the South Park movie, this is basically the plot line for that film. So this was how, you know, this could be like, you know, uh, this sort of test run for that shit. So this is uh, uh, the basic plot of the movie, which is all about, um, you know, censorship and the use of language in that, in that movie. So it's a whole long ass episode of South Park dealing with it and specifically this was the launch point for it okay so obviously we have Kyle's mom who forms an organization and that uh, speaks out against um, you know the children's fascination with Terrence and Phillips um, now obviously we have some intertextuality here um, Terrence and Phillips are um, an homage or an allusion to uh, two two shows that Matt and Trey uh, love, which is The Simpsons, so Itchy and Scratchy, which are on The Simpsons, okay, and then Beavis and, Bu Beavis and Butthead. So this is a, you know, their allusion to those two shows, and obviously we have a parody of Comedy Central with Cartoon, Cartoon Central, okay. Okay, so we're going to watch this episode. Just pay attention to how um, censorship plays out out in this and you know you know the real the real you know moral is who's to blame for your children's shitty behavior is actually you uh, duh not not television but people are very quick to blame TV uh, TV shows for that stuff so anyways watch this and then we'll talk a little bit more about South Park and censorship and then we'll talk about uh, and watch good times with weapons